Hey everybody, welcome back to episode two of our Monsters in My Pocket toy collectible series that we're showing you off just in time for Halloween. On the first episode, I kind of explained a little bit about the backstory of these Monsters in My Pockets. And here we're just going to go ahead and get into what we have. So let's get started. Rock Time Toys! Alright, so the first monster that we're going to be showing you is called Behemoth. These guys that I'm going to be showing you on this episode all look to be pretty strong. This guy's worth 25. I like how he has his bumpy skin. He has almost like giant horse hooves. Really crazy, strong looking face. Looks like he is a tough guy to tangle with. So that's number one. We've got 10 of them to show you on this one. Again, please, I do not know how to pronounce some of these figures, names, but I'm gonna do the best I can. This one's pretty easy to say though, Winged Panther or Winged Panther. So I guess sometime in history, there was a myth or a folklore about some Winged Panther that maybe went around. Like I said on the last episode, uh, you might want to look up some of the history on some of these because I bet you they're pretty interesting, but we will see some of them might not be. So this guy's only worth five, so he's pretty weak. We've got Mad Scientist. He's got his potion in his hand, ready to put together some kind of concoction. Looks like maybe he's the one that made Frankenstein or something. Coming up with all kinds of crazy stuff to create in his lab. He's worth 10. He's got his lab coat on. All right, so here's uh, one of my favorites. This is Hydra. He has his multiple heads here. Looks like nine. They're all open mouthed, getting ready to attack. He's got some crazy looking feet down there. Now, of course, looks like wings on the back plus his head. So this is pretty cool. I like this guy a lot. So 25 points, so he's a pretty strong one. Then we have this guy, which I have no clue how to pronounce his name. Cataplepis or something like that. Cataplepis, I don't know. But he is a funky looking guy. Looks like he's got some kind of a club that he's holding on to. He's on four legs, but he has a human head. Kind of hairy with like, almost looks like a scorpion tail that has like a crab claw on it. So this guy is definitely interesting looking. And he is worth 15, so he's pretty tough. My guy's a little discolored though. A little dark green on the bottom and light green on the, or light yellow on the rest. All right, who else we got? We have Manticore. Always thought this guy was pretty cool. Almost kind of creepy and weird looking like Cataplepis or whatever. He's got kind of like a dog human face with some wings. He's also down on all fours. Looks like a nice house pet. You would go to the uh, little animal shelter there and pick him out of the litter. Have him come home and hang out with you in your house. 15 points all right then we have triton the king of the sea he's just missing his famous three-pronged staff there but looks like a mermaid as well he is the king of the ocean supposedly he is worth 20 points got his pretty cool gills to help him swim in the water let's see who else we got we got i think this is a uh, hobgoblin he looks like he's also a little bit up to mischief, just like on our last episode, showing off the gremlin. He's got some crazy horns or some face mask or something up here that stick out above his nose. Kind of in a pretty neat pose. Worth 15. Interesting bumpy skin on the back, kind of like Behemoth. I always thought these monsters in my pockets were so awesome. I have some comics. I had the video game. I watched the show. I didn't have the board game though. This is Bigfoot. The uh, hairy monkey man that no one ever will find in the forest of the United States, I believe. Worth 15 points. Very cool. And then last but not least, this one's I think my absolute favorite out of this bunch and this is Jotun Troll. He's got multiple heads, a troll with multiple heads. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine heads, just like Hydra. 
Got his giant club. Definitely looks like you do not want to mess with him unless maybe his weakness is the fact that all these heads disagree with each other and so he is easily confused. But he's worth 20. I thought he would be worth more than that, but definitely an awesome looking one. So here is another last look at these guys. Joe Tun Troll, Hobgoblin, Bigfoot, Behemoth, Winged Panther, Mad Scientist, Hydra, Triton, Cataplepis, and uh, Manticore. Thanks again, and don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to help us out with making some more fun videos. Also check out the other episodes of Monsters in My Pocket. I did one before this. I'm going to do one or two more after just to show the rest of what we got. Thanks again. Bye.